and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial like I said I don't like the format the reset took so I'm going to exit out and let's come right down here you see the reset I would like it to just behave just like the exit this is the exit I'm gonna copy this let's come right down here where I have the reset and I'll paste that here and just change the name around so this is going to be known as reset get rid of I reset now I will declare a variable in here this variable will be called okay let's just call it J just reset okay and just reset my local variable come right in here I'm just changing everything around so that's the name all I just want this one to ask is confirm if you want to reset because the end user might mistakenly click on the reset that's why I feel this is necessary so J reset will question you to confirm if you want to reset and if your answer is yes then I reset I reset will be called upon and I reset is right here this is I reset you don't just reset so confirm it first else there might be an error okay now let's use else let's use else if else if j reset if j reset and i'm going to call that it's less than and equals to zero enter a column there then i want i want to reset i reset so i want that to be let's say self dot txt reset dot delete That's going to be put one dot zero comma end there instead of calling I reset and I'm okay. Let's just yeah, instead of calling days, I'm going to now change the command that I call to reset this very one. So let's come down here and change this to reset okay one other thing is because if i run this now i will definitely just clear everything which i don't want let's see what's gonna happen nope you see that i don't want that to happen okay let's try it again And here let's say reset yes all right but I don't want this to happen though so I'm going to just add this there okay that is my title I still want my title in there so if I enter whatever in here now and let's just see reset no okay that's good so that is fine reset yes okay that's fine that's all right so that's taken care of now now the next thing we want to do is okay the next thing will be if i click on this very button here i want to be able to add values from here onto this text box so what i will do is let's come right down here 
and right underneath here let me declare the following okay i can just paste that anywhere anyway so maybe underneath here function receipt function receipt enter a column and let's say first thing first I'm gonna call this I need this so let's say reference underscore number of I want that and enter as follows okay so anything that we have inside all of this variable I want it added so I'm gonna call this let's go straight down to command receipt command receipt right there so command equals receipt we don't need this though get rid of that yeah okay let's try that out so see the command is in place let's come right here run it and see right into that into this okay we cannot do anything with this three because I need three other functions to take care of that so there we go guys look at that that is fine I like that okay reset yes no all oh, right that's good all right I think I have it the other way around reset yes so yes you get rid of it but that's fine anyway okay the next thing we want to do now is functions to take care of this so when I click on this I want student loan display accommodation fee international student fee now exit and come right underneath here and the first function that I will declare that will be for the student loan so let's say student loan underscore loan yeah that's correct and let's say column now let me start by declaring a global variable and I'll call this global variable pay pay one so using an if statement let's come right down here and say if variable for dot get because variable for is the variable that I use for student loan that is variable for there and if we come right down here to this widget here you will notice that right here I'm using variable for on this checkbox okay so that's why I'm calling variable for the variable for equals it's going to be equals equals because I am comparing then make sure you enter a colon there and let's say self dot student loan dot configure and let's say the state of this equals normal there another local variable I'll call that item one equals float do the following I just made that up now that is supposed to be the student loan now let's say student loan there's a variable called student loan up here somewhere right 
here student loan okay just to let you know there's a variable there and i've also copied it student loan dot set and it's going to be in pound styling plus str item one because item one is where i have my student loan now let's say pay one that's in the wrong on the wrong place so it's going to be pay one equals student loan dot get and student loan dot set the pound styling is very one copy all of those dump it right there there we go else else if if this is equal zero everything here paste it right there if it's equal zero and I want the student loan disabled and copy all of this txt disabled and the other thing is student loan the variable student loan we have to set the value to zero so let's copy this paste and just set everything to zero there we go that's it now you see this very student loan i'm now going to call that so let me copy that scroll right down i want where i have the checkbox student loan right there so right here i'm going to say comma command equals student loan and that's all there is to it if i run that now let's run it and see what's going to happen okay student loan there we go you see now i can now click on that why i cannot click on these two yet so close that move right up what i'm just gonna do now is copy this copy and the next one i'm gonna call the next one let's call this accommodation there in the case of accommodation we just need to change i have i do have a variable called accommodation i believe let's come here let's come right up here yeah we there we go accommodation so i'm going to copy that everywhere I have student loan will be changed to accommodation okay this becomes accommodation and so on right there now i'm assuming the accommodation is about six thousand pounds six thousand five hundred pounds a year for a student all that i now need to do is to call this accommodation let's come right down here and look for where i have my accommodation this is the student loan and right here is accommodation so let's come right down here comma command equals accommodation there so that is called as well let's try it out run that okay we have an error what might that be indentation come on what is the problem indent let's run it again there we go accommodation that's fine student loan that's fine now we're waiting for international let's come in here grab the accommodation lines of code and just change it around for international make sure i 
getting the quotation right and let's come right down here copy the variable for yeah international copy that international student fees to come right down here and anything accommodation change that to international student fee right there and we need to change this to international as well let's get rid of that and we need to change this as well I think it's called international I'm going to check that out oh my that was the name okay it's just international right now the same thing applies to this one okay okay all the amendment made so what is left for me to do now is i'm going to copy this international so that i can call it within the checkbox so let's scroll right down i think i have it somewhere here international so right there i'm going to enter comma and paste the international there now let's copy command somewhere i have command somewhere yeah, I can copy this just feeling lazy and just paste that there right that is that done I'm now going to run it there we go international that's fine international student fee that's a little bit too much you guys need to do something about that okay there we go all right so now let's enter data on the other component there okay let's say the name is yeman and the surname of yeman is hussein something like that an address of yeman is yankee road yeman living in yankee on yankee road Okay, telephone number of Yemen. Student ID, proof of ID, oh no, degree, first degree, and method of payment, MasterCard. Okay, what about students ref? NL number. Nest of King, let's say Ali Hussein. That's the nest of king. Get rid of this. Yeah, that's it. So click on reset. There we go. Look at that. That is beautiful, guys. Look at that. So, guys, with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And you all have a nice day now. I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. And for your information, if you want this uh, very nice of code, make sure you are a member of the channel. And I can always make the code available to you. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.